Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. For the love of God, YGO organization, please fix your ads. I don't care about James Wan, Megan's new horrific trailer. We're just going to pause that shit. I'm, I'm so sick of these ads on this on this freaking website. I, I may even just stop using this website. Anyways, I want to talk about the brand new OCG ban list. Now, for a quick little uh, reference point here on the OCG ban list, they actually get end dates on their ban list. So, Konami TCG, you do a lot of things right, but you also do a crap ton of things wrong. For the love of God, give us an end date back. For the love of all that is good and holy, the OCG has an end date. We knew that this ban list was going to be dropping and I want to talk about the implications that this ban list has because there are a couple things that I think should be discussed. Ancient Fairy Dragon getting an errata being one of the biggest ones. So let's just dive on into it here. Starting right out of the get-go, we've got Tier Element Kit Kalos and Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds banned. Now, Storm Winds, a lot of people were saying this a while back, telling me, Avery, Storm Winds needs to be banned. Storm Winds is insane. And what makes it so broken compared to the other statues is the fact that not only it's a wing beast, but it's also a win. So anything that is win support or even wing beast support, whether it's Tri Brigade, Flunder, what have you, can cheese this out. You know, that, that that's a big reason why the Symorg Bird of Sovereignty Link monster was banned, because you could just cheese out Storm Winds and lock the opponent out of special summoning. Flunder, arguably, their boards are not very scary. You know, yeah, if they've got an end pin on the board, as long as you're not stupid and not paying attention, you know, if you summon, if you special summon all your monsters in defense that can be special summoned in defense, you still get their effects. Whereas what made the board scary was that if they had end pin out and storm winds along with magnificent map, well, you can't special summon except for wind which you're most likely not playing any wins unless you're playing Cash Tira, which even then all you have is Unicorn. So you're forced to Normal Summon, which then triggers the map, and then the opponent's just going to kick your, kick your face in anyway. So will we see this happen on our next ban list? I think within the next one to two ban lists, I think we could see Storm Winds get banned. You know, uh, people may say, well, Avery, the other statues should be banned too. No, stop, because the other statues aren't as broken. You know, we don't have crazy earth support like we've had wing beast support as of late. You know, same goes for the fire barrier statue and dark and light statues aren't that good because a lot of decks play dark and light attributes. So, you know, I, I think we're going to have to wait and see what happens with this. I think it could happen here in the TCG. Now, tier element, <laughs> I hope that we get these tier element hits in the TCG as well. They said, screw you, Kit Kalos. You're going out back and getting shot in the nuts. So, this alone already hurts Tier incredibly bad because now Tier Element in the OCG is forced to play something like King of the Swamp or Goddess with the Third Eye or Visago the Destroyer, any sort of fusion substitute card now. Because with Kick Kalos being banned, the deck literally cannot make Tier Elements rule Kalos without a fusion substitute type of monster. You know, and Kit Kalos was such a good power starter too because you would just fusion summon it out with basically any two Tier Elements monsters and then either dump a tier element card to the grave or just add it to your hand and then pop itself to summon out, like, let's say, Meryl. Meryl's going to trigger to mill three, and then Kit Kalos is going to mill five on the resolution. So you're getting a mill eight of, of cards off the top of your deck, and, you know, you're potentially hitting Magnificent Maven cards. You know, you're potentially hitting Keldigo, Medora, Kelbeck, all that. The... Uh, OCG had moved away from the Ishizu stuff because they had already been hit on previous lists, but still the fact remains that the deck was still tier zero over there, and then they were combining it with Cash Tira. And keep in mind that in Photon Hypernova, we're getting the tier element Cash Tira monster, which is a level seven with like 2,500 attack that can mill the top three of either player's deck to the grave. So, like, the, 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 the tier is going to be getting even more fucking gas in the future. This deck had to be kicked in the nuts. Uh, next up, we have Ancient Fairy Dragon going from band to one. It did get Narada. We're going to discuss that in a little bit. Cash Tira, Fenrir, and Unicorn. These are really good hits. Tier Element, Sharon and Rhino Heart to one. They were at three. They are now at one. This is very good. Tier Element, or Tier Element, Telonet, Ptolemyus, just, you know, following in line with the TCG. Magnemut to one. Steam Cloak to one, following with the TCG. Change of Heart, same thing, TCG. Primeval Planet, Parios, and Branded Fusion went from 2 to 1. So, in the OCG, they really like their branded cards. You know, they put Branded Fusion from 3 to 2 to 1. And I don't feel like that this is something we will see in the TCG just because Branded's really fallen off. 
but it goes to show you how busted of a card branded fusion can be in a different format. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this will really be implied to the TCG. I think that branded is just such a beloved deck here in the TCG in a format where it can actually compete. I think that this will be fine. Prime Planet Parios is the same as Primeval Planet Paralino for uh, Tier Element, but it's for Cash Tira. You activate it, add a Cash Tira from deck to hand. Uh, it it needed it needs to go to one. Like the card's actually pretty good. Change of Heart, Steam the Cloaks, whatever. Magnum Mutt, I feel could become a problem later down the line. I feel like that we could see this in the TCG because the fact that you know it's a. 2500 attack monster that's a dd crow it's a quick effect if the opponent has a monster being able to just drop it out and then it searches you another buy steel monster besides itself to keep the gas flowing is just insane shayron and rhino heart is just more hits to tier this deck needs to be thrown out in the garbage like they they said tier element you have been power creeping like crazy for the past six to nine months you need to go and this is just great like you might as well put all of the main deck tier monsters to one at this point so that they can't just hit multiples and use both of the effects and all that fenrir and unicorn i feel like we're going to see fenrir go to one eventually it's basically a power crept version of pankratops it can search another copy of itself on a once per turn but yet it's not once per turn to special summon itself like that's disgusting unicorn same thing once we get photon hypernova the spells the spells that it can search i.e cash tira overlap which is just basically an otk based card but then you have things like uh, Kashtira Papias, which is basically an E-Telly on a normal spell that Unicorn can fucking search. It's disgusting. Um, and then, like I said, Ancient Fairy, we'll be talking about here in a minute. Semi-Limited, uh, Galatea from 1 to 2. Sure, Orcus are still dog water. Uh, Swap Frog from 1 to 2. Sure, why not? Uh, Kagari was at 1 in the OCG for a while. Put it to 2, why not? Yadagorasu, I've been saying that this can come to 2. This will probably come to 2 in the TCG. Right of Aramiser, the Brave Engine was hit in the OCG. 1 to 2, cool. Launcher? Ho <laughs> ho. Uh-oh, prepare your anus, prepare your holes, Infernity making a comeback. I would love to see this in the TCG. I don't feel like it too. It will really do all that much, um, but it's still something to keep in mind. Foolish Barrel from three to two. I think just a lot of OCG decks were playing Foolish Barrel goods. Raigeki from three to two and Light Stage from one to two. Uh, that That's pretty cool. I think that that's cool to give Trickstar another uh, Broda, basically. But Raigeki from three to two, like... Isn't Dark Hole at three in the OCG? So, like, what does this really do? I hope we don't see Raigeki go from three to two in the TCG. Like, I enjoy the fact that this card's at three. It's a budget board wipe for people who don't want Lightning Storm, even though Lightning Storm is pretty cheap at this point. It's still a very good budget option regardless. Um, and then at three, we've got Dragon Buster because that was at two for forever. Double Iris, whatever. Water Enchantress, sure. Torn Scales, whatever. And Scarlet Sanguine, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, so this OCG balance, I got to say, it covers a lot of ground. I think it's overall a really solid list. Um, oh, and the Errata on Ancient Fairy Dragon, I don't think it's on here, actually. Let me see if we can pull up the errata yes we are still recording so anyway this is the uh new errata so it, it each effect is once per turn you can special summon a level four monster from your hand but you can't conduct your battle phase turn you activate this effect i don't believe that that's changed what has changed is that you can still destroy as many field spells on the field as possible gain a thousand light points then you can add a field spell from your deck to your hand but the change is is with a different name than that of the destroyed card or cards. So if you have a, let's say, Trickstar Light Stage on the field, you can't make Ancient Fairy Dragon to pop it to get another Light Stage. And I'm glad that they did this because could you imagine, could you absolutely imagine, if I can close out these shitty ads, could you imagine if, like, Runic, like, just threw in, like, a mini engine to make Ancient Fairy Dragon and they activate Runic Fountain, use the effect to draw three, and then they bring out Ancient Fairy Dragon to pop it, get another one, and play the second one, and just draw more cards. That would be so disgusting. Like, that, that that's just insane. I still feel like dropping out a level 4 lower monster from your hand is still really good. Like, just having that extender is insane. I'm thinking, like, you know, Morphtronic Telephon FTK shenanigans. Um, because, I mean, you don't care about losing your battle phase. So, I think we'll definitely see this errata come to the TCG at some point. You know, maybe on our next balance or the one after. Um... I don't really feel like this errata changes too much because 
I mean, again, you can still use Ancient Fairy Dragon just to be a level four or lower special summon extender. So I think somehow that's going to get abused. A Mortronic Telephone. It's just another resource for them to use. Um, so guys, let me know what you think about this OCG ban list. Uh, are you going to be trying to play in the OCG format like EDO Pro or something? Uh, Konami, you should be taking notes because this is why Master Shits needs to have a TCG and OCG mode so that people can play with this OCG ban list. But it doesn't matter. Master Shits is dead in the water anyway. It's a pile of garbage. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this ban list down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.